year. I heard. Uh, which a year ago, I heard it was supposed to be last year. So. Well, when they, approved, <laughs> when they did the final approval, which was late this <clears throat> spring, that's when I was asking the question, they said when the, when the wet weather got bypassed, mm -hmm. they were going to start. So, And I don't mm -hmm. know which end they're starting in, if they're going north and going south, or if they're going south. We south should out, make sure they have a... They yeah. should have a pub. They've had a couple of public hearings as part of the process, but they should probably we'll talk with Howard about making sure they do another public hearing at the township hall yes. on the whole what the project looks like and the timing. That was the that, that last one. That's what that was supposed to be was the final approval, and this is what we're going to have. But they never said how they were going to reroute traffic, and that's why I ask. As you're doing this, how are you rerouting traffic? It's and good good for football Saturday, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be horrid. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Anybody that lives thanks around for, here knows. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks well, for every morning we'll get back to you. Yeah. 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 But every, every morning and every night. Uh, they Saturdays, out of here. <laughs> before Saturdays of the home game, you schedule your driving around the mm -hmm. traffic. Mm -hmm. Well, if you live out there, there yeah. which I do, I live right by Six Mile. Okay. Oh, yeah, From uh, 4.30 yeah. until maybe about 6.30, you might as well forget it. Uh -huh. uh, because traffic is coming into Whitmore, trying to get around all this that's back up, and going the same way the other way in the morning, from mm -hmm. six in the morning till yeah, yeah, nine o'clock. Yeah, rush hours. Uh, don't, I don't know if you get into it, but I get into it every day, and it's uh, no, it's it's that way all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing about the recently defeated proposal one is if they hadn't worked in all the sales tax stuff, just said okay, we're going to pull that nine, 19 cents a gallon gas tax, that would have probably would have passed. Mm -hmm. You know, is all those writing and additionals and everything else that got added on to it, especially that one percent hike of sales tax, that killed it for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember that Blanchard, I believe, uh, during her administration had reduced the gas taxes because the gas had went up. Everybody was in shock about gas prices going over three dollars. She reduced it, you know, to try and help. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why we're more in trouble because. You know, it got reduced back then by a few cents. Now, now we got to pay the piper for it. But, yeah, uh, well, but it was all—it was complexity of the bill and everything yeah. else that really screwed it over. Especially the one percent sales tax. Right. So, you know, I did a little bit of math, and I'm like, I'm going to save two fifty. You know, you know, on a, on a fill up here, but. On the other hand, I'm going to wind up paying an extra one percent of just about everything I buy. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. no, we. I think everybody heard that in Lansing, and yeah. they, uh, the yeah, house, simplify it, and we'll probably pass. Right. So there's a now uh, there, there's a transportation committee, but now there's a road committee that was established mm -hmm. by the speaker of the house, and they're going to be coming up with alternatives for mm -hmm. the rest of us to. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also, do you want to say anything about the? Uh, uh, you know, you're talking about you know internet connectivity for everything. I remember like seven years ago there was this big initiative that wireless, primarily took place in Salem and then never went anywhere else yeah. in the county. Well, no, it didn't. I mean, it was a, actually a countywide program, and it actually didn't get that go very far um, at all uh, for various reasons. But um, we are working with uh, mm -hmm. some a, a coalition and having I think monthly, bi-monthly meetings trying to identify providers that could help where there's a market uh, shortfall, um, where, where there's market interest but a not, a not service. So that's something that we've been working on. And then another big problem that the market does have is single provider. You know, when you get into a certain area, uh, you got one provider and that's yeah. it. You can't, there is no competition. Right. I, I think, I think yeah, they get together and say, I'm not going to invade your area if you don't invade mine. So there's no well, no competition. Yeah, so I met with AT&T and Comcast and Verizon and Frontier mm -hmm. and um, and then there's smaller uh, groups mm -hmm. too that we're meeting with and, and I'm trying to find opportunities to put mm -hmm. on broadband. How do they determine, like well, I know that Comcast is in Ann Arbor and doesn't come this way and Charter is in this area but doesn't go, I understand that way. They have a market area, but they're, if their market's not being served then it opens up, so that's... And does it have an approval or something from uh, Northfield Township because I saw something about Northfield Township and Charter, and, uh, and something about their approval was coming up again this year. That might be specifically for, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what you're talking about. To yeah, there, there was something in the U.S. Congress about, uh, you know, multiple companies serving an area, a lot, you know, forcing that in, otherwise there are, you know, uh, somebody becomes, in, in, in essence, a uh, public monopoly, you know, you know like right. a power company is. You know, we, we really need to have that, co that competition fostered so 
Uh, you know, let's get Comcast in here to fight this charter. And we'll have the rates will go down on both. Both. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, you haven't had this chance to say anything. Um, well, thanks. That I will jump in. First, I want to say I'm really pleased with the attendance here because when Pam Burns was our rep, um, she had an open house like this, and and there were like two people that showed up. So. I was pleasantly surprised. I thought, oh good, I'll, you know, I'll okay. be the only one. Um, I just have some general things that I would like you to, to, would like to encourage. I'm Ann Brindle. Okay. Um, and also, for those of you, should we sign I in? I hope everybody got a chance to sign in. Ann, go ahead and talk, and then, okay, and did then you guys get a chance sharing. to sign in? Yeah. Okay, okay. great. Um, just issues that I have a personal interest or that I think are important that I would encourage you to, when this legislation, if it gets out of committee, mm -hmm. to you know support these issues. And I don't have the bill numbers okay. and all that. It's just general things. Um, any factory farm legislation? I know Michigan is kind of ahead of the game on some of that, as far as um, you know. We no longer have what gestation crates, veal crates, etc. But um, I, anything that you could do to support any other legislation that comes up. Same with puppy mill regulation. Um, also, um, any it, um, bills that come up or if they ever get out of committee, I mean, I don't know where they're at, and I don't, again, I don't have bill numbers, but employment and housing discrimination based on sexual orientation mm -hmm. or gender identity. Um, in fact, I do have a question related to that, but I'll, <coughs> I'll go down the rest of my list that I don't want to forget, and then I'll come back to the question. Um, again, I really feel, uh, the next issue is I really feel women's reproductive rights are being eroded, and I would, I would strongly <laughs> feel strongly that I don't want that to happen. I don't want to become a state like some of these states like Texas where you know there's one provider in the whole state. Um, and school funding. I'm, you know, I feel like we're losing that a lot and our kids are suffering. Um, the question I do have though is do you know where where the state is with the Elliott Larson Act regarded to... Well, um, the Democrats introduced the bill, package of bills. We did that. I was on Commerce last fall and we introduced bills and they we don't we're in the minority in both the House and the Senate. So mm -hmm. um, it's up to the uh, chair of the committee to hear the bill. What um, we can get back to you. Um, I'm not even sure what committee it got referred to, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, but we'd be happy if you sign in and just say, you know, or send us an email and we'd be happy to tell you what committee and I would recommend that you send a letter to the committee chair okay. asking for a hearing. Um, okay. I know that there is a strong coalition of people that are interested in seeing that move forward. Okay. And well, Snyder supports that as well, is that, yes. am I correct on that? Well, he, I think so. Yeah. He said that we should be a more welcoming state and more supportive of diversity. Oh. So real non-committal, like, you know. He said that in the state of the state. Okay. So. All right. That's kind of my list okay. of things that Great. I think I are important that. that I hope you, and like you say, it's. You're kind of trying, to, to, you're trying to kind issues. of right. You're kind of trying to swim upstream right, right now exactly. with, with our present governing body. So I always I recommend to people that um, you know <coughs> uh, build coalitions around the state with people, and um, we'd be happy to help connect you with people. But really, I think until uh, we have a um, more collaborative effort around the state on some of these issue areas, okay. that's really what we need to be doing because the, the, it's up to the chair of these committees to take uh, hear the test hear the legislation and take right. testimony. See, that's what's so frustrating, is it's like these bills don't get out of committee because right. they're, you know, I don't, they're right now they're Republican um, yeah, majority, majority right. and that's the leader of the committee that, or right, whatever, exactly. so, I mean, is that happening more and more nowadays, or is it just that I didn't never understood the political process? Okay. Well, I think with both uh, the House and the Senate being in the same party, I think that could make it a little bit more difficult to have more balance, but um, you know, that's the environment we're really living in. So I think you know, hopefully, um, if, if enough people ex who vote for people express interest in seeing change, I know there is a lot of openness to um, the LGBT uh, Elliot Larson discrimination issue. Um, I think that's a concern for a lot of people um, across the state, and I think there's a lot of work being done on that. So well, I, I was on Commerce last fall and we took testimony and it was the only time on our commerce uh, meetings that we had for two years we had standing room only it was a full house um, and the chair was very interested in the issue but we didn't have enough votes to pass it okay. 
Well, and I am encouraged on a lot of issues by, uh, was it the Free Press yesterday just had an article about some poll that was done that we are getting more, the country has become more socially liberal in, you know, I forgot who did the poll, but mm -hmm. um, I, I just didn't know, would, are there other, oh, I know, a question related to that. Is it called lobby days where citizens can come and sign up? Do you, are you familiar with sure. that? My, so do sure. they only have those once a year? You or? can come anytime to our office. It's up, you know, we're open, you know, Monday through Friday. Nine to five. Um, we vote on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So, if you want, it's a lobby. Um, I mean, I'm in the district on you know the, when it's not not Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, meeting with people like doing this and other things. Um, so, if you want to meet with other legislators, it's usually better to try to do that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There are a lot of different organizations that do lobbying, and they'll come into our office and talk to us about what their issue areas are, what kind yeah, of Yeah, that's how I found out about it. I think I got an email from Humane Society of the yeah. United States. And, um, yeah, so each my organization. Just participated. Right. Each I organization. Felt like not articulate. I was like chicken that would happen. Well, you should come. It's a good <laughs> picture of <laughs> democracy, and it's always good to hear from our constituents. I think you know, sometimes Lansing is a little, little sheltered there, you know, being a little bubble. So I think it's, I personally like to spend time here in the district much more because I think that's where the real um, action happens as far as getting things accomplished in the local community. Yeah, I have a, some questions regarding the state um, catastrophic fund. Mm -hmm. uh, is that funded solely by um, drivers? Do the insurance companies fund any of that? Well, the, the fee goes through the insurance companies. But do they add any additional funds to the, the money that I pay? That. So it's basically it's motorist mm -hmm. driven. Um, it, what prevents that? I can't, it's got so much money in it, I can't ever see that there being that many catastrophic claims against the fund to run it dry. Mm -hmm. What prevents that from being used for other expenses? <laughs> wow. I.e., Build some damn roads. Mm -hmm. There's there's billions of dollars in that right. fund, and I, I don't know if anybody even knows it, a current amount. But well, last, can't into it. Uh, 2014 or 2015, so. I, I there was there 17 have, billion dollars in it. Right. There's so, there would have to be legislation. So there, uh, I think that's something there people are looking at right now in this on this house side. Yeah. Um, we should be hearing more about that here in the next. If, if you watch how it's grown, we could.